9200 kit, you've got your dual microphone, your 2.4 inch color LCD display, your wireless RF remote, and your music cable. Your MKI 9200 should be paired with your remote right out of the box. In case you're having trouble, within 30 seconds of turning the ignition on in your vehicle, you're going to hold the green call button, the play button, and periodically press the end call button. Initially pairing your MKI 9200 to your Bluetooth device is very simple. Your MKI 9200 is always going to be visible. You're going to browse to your settings menu, turn your Bluetooth on, scroll down and find your MKI 9200. If it asks you for a PIN code, the PIN code is 0000. The first time you connect, it's going to synchronize your phone book. You can see that it's synchronizing by the rotating icon. Once the synchronization is complete, it will notify you. You may now begin to use your MKI 9200. Navigating the menus on your MKI 9200 is very intuitive. You've got your center jog wheel, end call, make call, previous track, play, and next track. To enter the main menu, press the center jog wheel down. Phone book. By default, it's going to announce the actual menu you're on. You can scroll through by rotating the jog wheel. Telephone. Bluetooth audio. To select the menu, press the jog wheel down. To return in a menu, press the end call button. Bluetooth or With the MKI 9200, you have the capability to stream music. To do so, bring up your main menu by pressing the jog wheel down. Phone book. Telephone. You're going to browse to Bluetooth audio. Bluetooth audio. Select it by pressing the jog wheel down. It's going to bring up a list of connected devices. I'll go ahead and select my phone. And it'll start my streaming audio. You can control the audio by hitting previous track, play, pause, and next track. Your MKI 9200 is capable of playing music from multiple sources. You've got your iPod and iPhone cable, your USB audio, and your 3x5 universal mini plug. Along with that, you've got the ability to load up an SD card with music and slide it into the side of the screen. Connecting your MKI 9200 to an iPod or iPhone is very simple. Plug in your proprietary cable, hit play and you're listening to your music. At this point, you can use your volume, next track, player pause, and previous track. Navigating through your music on the MKN 9200 is also very intuitive. Hit the jog wheel down, phone book, iPhone. Browse to your iPhone menu or iPod menu, and you can browse by artist, albums, songs, genre, and playlist. Receiving a phone call with your MKI 9200. Once the person's calling you, all you need to do is hit the green button. You can also use magic words and just say, accept. And it's automatically going to connect you. To update, download the Parrot software update tool from www.parrot.com. Follow the on-screen directions. It will ask you to insert a USB flash drive. It will upload the software onto this drive and direct you to install it onto your MKI 9200. To do so, bring up your menu, phone book, navigate settings. to settings, Go to Advanced Settings and select Update. At this point, the device is going to wait for an update file. Using your USB flash drive, connect it to your USB cable on the music device. It should automatically find the update file and begin updating. Depending on the size of the update, 
It could take up to 15 minutes. Once the updating is complete, your device is automatically going to restart itself and tell you that the update has been completed. During the update progress, do not turn off the ignition to your vehicle. While the unit's rebooting itself, you're safe to remove your USB drive. Once the unit's powered on, we'll verify that the software has been updated. After your device is initialized, I'll show you how to verify that your software has been updated. Bring up the menu. Settings. Browse the settings. Advanced settings. Information. And you'll be able to see your update version on the screen. In this case, version 1.40.